How's it going everybody? This is five beginner songs on guitar that don't sound like beginner songs and are actually good. What I mean by that is they're not just the classic guitar songs that you learn for the sake of learning instrument. These are songs that you would actually want to learn if you could play guitar, um, as well as being able to provide you with some good skills like finger picking, chord changes. Um, and generally these are songs that sound harder than they are. Um, it might even be a little bit of a challenge. So I'll just pick five. They'll range from R&B to sort of more folk. If you don't know some of these songs, please look into them. I remember when I was a beginner, the hardest part was actually knowing what to learn. So hopefully this gets you started. Uh, the first song is the Ro uh, Rolling Stone by The Weeknd. I have a tutorial for this on my channel, but essentially it's a three chord song where you're doing bar chord shapes, but you don't actually need to push the bar chords. And there's a very simple finger style pattern. Yeah, this is one of the first ones that I learnt and um, it definitely gave me a sense of, oh, I can actually play guitar. This isn't just some beginner songs, that's just the starting chords. Uh, so that meant a lot to me. Uh, the second one that I'm going to show you is Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. Good three note chords there. Um, again, it's playing the shape of bar chords without needing to actually play all the notes of a bar chord. Um, and just some nice shapes that you can actually learn and actually form the basis of chords when you start learning different songs. Uh, the third one that I wanna mention is a song called Buddy Orange by an artist called Seer. Some of you might know him as a YouTuber these days. Uh, this song used to be very rampant in Draw My Life videos things like that on YouTube back in the day. Um, but I've always loved playing this song because it just sounds so nice and so much nicer than the skill level required to play it. So it goes like this. Nice introduction to harmonics there at the end, but ultimately you're just playing some of the chord shapes, learning some finger style sort of techniques, some hammer-ons and pull-offs. My advice for this song is when you do the hammer-ons and pull-offs, pull down, downwards, rather than just straight on and off. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the next song that I want to show you this might be a little bit challenging to some of you. What I want you to do is try and learn this song at a slow pace and correctly, and eventually you'll be able to play it at its regular speed. This is a really, really good test of hammer-on and pull-offs, and a really nice introduction to palm muting. Uh, this is Taylor by Jack Johnson, so. I really like this one because it's such a wide range of skills. It sounds a lot harder than it is, and it's actually a song that not many people learn properly. So when it comes down to it, if you can play this properly and take the time to actually learn the correct notes rather than sort of half assing it, um, people will think you're really good at guitar. And by that point, you actually probably will be quite good at guitar. Um, and on to the last one, I need to get my capo for this. Now that I have my capo, I'll show you the last one. This is The Professor, or in French it's La Professeur La Fille Danse, um, by Damien Rice. 
Damien Rice is a very, very, very nice folk sort of, um, I don't even know what you call that genre, genre of music, kind of like a Bon Iver type uh, artist that makes a lot of nice soft guitar music. What this song will teach you is some fingerstyle techniques. Um, it'll introduce you to some variations of bar chords that might be easier to play. And ultimately, it'll teach you how to use volume and dynamics in your playing to sound better. And what I mean by that is playing things loudly and playing things quietly. So the chords go like this. So, those are five beginner songs uh, that aren't actually beginner songs that are quite easy. Um, I hope that helps. I really hope that that gets you motivated to play guitar. Nothing worse than learning the songs that every other person knows that you don't even really enjoy playing, but you feel like you have to because you can't think of anything else to play. Like, comment, subscribe. Please comment down below any other things you want me to put up. I'm trying to do more videos that are... Um, less focused on tutorials specifically and more to do with learning the instrument itself. Um, yeah, have a good day.